Okay, so I've got two applications going on. I got Axiom. I rewrote it from RS232 into a socket based application or a client. It's a client and the server, and the server provides the information that uh, the client wants. So um, instead of RS232 or serial line, it now puts it out on the internet network. So the server listens to the client. And then the server rebroadcasts the information back out. We can run the server first. This is a basically a rewritten chat server. Same kind of idea. Multiple applications talk to the server and then rebroadcast rebroadcast back out to all the clients. So we can start the thing here. So here you can see it's running on port 7777. Started today. Listening on this IP address and that port. So now the, that guy is just off and running. Now Axiom uh, rewrote this to be TCP based. So don't have the port stuff or the uh, serial port stuff, but rather the IP and the port. So slow life down here. So now, where's the server? So now we connect up here. It says I've joined. That's this application has joined, and here's the the uh, NEMA codes coming out on the server, and here it's being echoed back uh, from the server. So it goes from the client to the server, the server back to the client. Now you're probably saying, so what? But if we take a basic browser and go to the address of the server it talks to the server and voila you have NEMA codes coming out on your web page even so the possibilities are kind of endless so I think this really holds some possibilities the other thing is there doesn't seem to be much of a limit in terms of speed that's one Hertz you can run this at whatever speed you want and there's no problem where's the server it just zooms along at any frequency you want so in terms of speed there is no limitations that well there's limitations but not for this application because uh, ethernet's really fast so there you go